Hey guys, um, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my new workout plan. Things that I've been doing that have been really making me feel good. You know, I used to be a person that goes into the gym and tries to pound the weights like crazy, right? And go as heavy as I possibly could, but I'm getting older and I realized that I can't do that stuff anymore. I need to start being more conscious of what I'm doing. Let me, let me wipe this lens just a sec. I'm live feeding right now, so that's why I don't, I'm not editing this. It's just going to go straight through. I've been watching a lot of Larry Wheels stuff. If you don't know, Larry Wheels is one of the strongest men in the world. But he doesn't just focus on pounding, pounding, pounding the weights all the time. He focuses a lot on movement, full range of motion, doing the exercises correctly. He's big on um, doing things proper and not shortcutting things, not uh, using the body the body English or body language what they call it at the end of your until the end of your exercises when you're just trying to squeeze that last little bit out I've been watching a lot of his stuff where he's doing not so much like for instance he did lat pull down um, when he does his lat pull down wor workouts in some of them he's not trying to put the whole giant stack 250 pounds on there and just go ahead and pull it out which the guy can he's he's a monster what he's doing is he's using half the amount of weight and achieving the same thing by the amount of workload like he's putting time under tension right so he's building himself up he's not just building like he's not just getting stronger he's building muscle so I've been focusing on a lot of that lately I've been focusing on a lot of instead of five to eight reps I've been doing a lot of stuff you know 12 to 15 reps and trying to make sure those last two sets that I that I do I'm really squeezing stuff out I'm really engaging myself from a point where I'm listening to my body you know, I get a warm-up set in, maybe a second warm-up set in, and then I do three working sets. Sometimes I'll just do one warm-up set, and I'll go right into three workout working sets. But I've learned to follow a lot of the stuff that he's doing and not try to kill it all the time and start learning how to, how to use more weight, time under tension, and higher reps, which actually makes me feel better. It's actually helping me lose weight, and it's actually, you know, I'm getting substantially bigger. I notice that in my, my work shirts and stuff now, whenever... I can't, my arms are just, uh, they're not fitting in my shirt as much anymore. I was looking at myself in the gym the other day, and I was like, dude, you like, I can't, nothing anymore. It's like, you know, when I'm working, it, it just doesn't fit anymore. It's just, it's getting to the point now where, you know, I'm not bragging or anything. I don't have really anything to show off or whatever, but um, I'm getting substantially stronger, and a lot bigger and my recovery is happening a lot faster so it's my forearms are getting quite a bit bigger and stuff from doing the, the training and stuff that I'm just overall my muscle mass and just like my lean muscle mass I can see the percent over the last you know six to eight weeks slowly going up I know it's not super super accurate but I got to give it something um, and I'm just just overall even when I'm at work and I'm really focusing on, you know, getting in tight spots and I'm grabbing things and I'm trying to, um, I don't have much movement. Now the strength in my forearms and doing a lot of the workouts that, that I've watched Larry Wills do has, is actually helping me improve my job performance and my efficiency at work. So like where it used to take me forever and I used to have to take breaks, like if I'm down in a tight spot and I've got my hands in there and I'm just like tweaking stuff and I'm trying to get bolts. Now the muscles in my hands and in my arms are allowing me to, I'm not I'm not getting fatigued as fast uh, again this I'm not trying to show off or anything like that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to explain to you guys what's working for me right now what's what's helped me break that that weight loss stall what's helping my my face just keeps getting you know smaller and smaller my neck keeps getting smaller and smaller I'm starting to see my traps and stuff the muscles in my back are really starting to come out more and more and I'm hoping eventually I'll feel comfortable enough to show you guys but you know I want to still work on that it's, I'm working on more hypertrophy training, more time under tension, and not focusing on so much of just killing it all the time with as much weight as I possibly can. So just in general, I feel better, and I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to share some more solid results in the next month or two with you guys. But just doing a lot of the, the training that I see Larry Wills doing and just breaking it up from the conventional stuff that I'm used to doing is just it's amazing. So... I call this the Larry Wheels Keto Training, but it works, or Larry Wheels Carnivore Training. I'm doing it all, all meat, basically, and it just it really feels amazing. So um, 
I hope that I can share with you guys soon some better results on, or some some even further results where I've improved, and uh, I can share that with you. I just got off work and not too long ago, and I didn't really have time to go to the gym, so I just booked it to the gym, washed my face real quick, and I still got a few spots. They know me at the gym already. They know I'm a mechanic, and I get off work. I go right to the house, let the dog out, feed her, go to the gym, hit the weights hard, stop at the store on the way home because that's where I'm at right now. I just stopped to get some steaks for Valentine's Day. I'm going to feed me and the dog, and then um, I'm always live videoing in the store and stuff, so the managers and stuff know me, and they've been following my journey for a little while now. I'm talking about getting a diabetic um, field trip going so I can take a group of diabetic people through and show them if I was a diabetic what I would eat. You know, I was a diabetic before, but carnivore and keto changed my life. So uh, anyhow, just wanted to share that with you and share what's working with me and um, just pushing the limits a little bit, uh, doing something outside the box and really making sure when you're working, you're working. You're not just doing it. You're not going through the motions when you go to the gym. You're putting in that effort. You're you're trying to keep your mind focused on what you're doing. That 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 uh that mind muscle connection is very very important. Range of motion, hypertrophy training, time under tension, and learning um, maybe to engage your body in a different way that it's not used to. Uh, it could be very very much what you need to do to to change your results. Like me, I was stalled out for almost three months. I kept watching Larry Wills train. Larry Wills train. He was a huge inspiration to me. He's still a huge inspiration to me. And uh, the more I watched him train and the dedication and devotion he puts into helping other people as well as his training, I was like, you know what, I can do this. I'm going to start doing mimicking what this guy does, maybe change it up a little bit my way. And it pulled me right out of that stall. I've lost like 11 pounds in the last three and a half weeks now. And um, I've gained, I can tell my back's substantially bigger. My arms and stuff are getting substantially bigger just in the last, like I would say, six to eight weeks alone trying to do his exercises. And, you know, I'll never be as strong as him, but... Um, he's definitely an inspiration to me and Larry if you ever see this video I really appreciate you and I appreciate that appreciate the dedication that you put into you, to what you do because now it's inspiring people like me and other people to do the same thing so thank you for what you do be blessed guys